Is it good? Yeah, it started. All right. Hey, Richard, you still got the mask on, right? Right. Uh, let me <laughs> take it off, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's because been, you're uh, so bothering sometimes when you're at home and you know. Right. Yeah. It's... And uh, yeah, guys, you know this is a this is a this is a time where um, I I would like to call it COVID frenzy times. You know, all of us are glued to the TV sets, you know, reading about the statistics and getting depressed sometimes or getting happier when the curve starts to flatten. But anyway, we are going to talk about some important things, you know, how to um, how to protect yourself during this time. Right. And one of the things, of course, what uh, Venkat showed, you know, wearing the mask. But anyway, we'll go through um, all one by one real quickly. Again, maybe these things you've heard so many times, hundred times. But still, people don't do them, right? So we we want to be a reminder service, as I always say, basic things, but people tend to forget. So uh, use us as a reminder service during this time. So I would like to start off by saying, stay home and avoid contacts, right? If you, because most of the most of the states at this point are under stay-at-home orders. If they say that, just adhere to that, because it's not just for your safety; it's for your society's safety as well. And in a previous episode, when get, we talked about being positive during this time. So mm. think positively during this time. Staying home, avoid contacts, it's given for a reason. And do something productive. The, I don't want to go through all that uh, on this video because we've already talked about it. Please feel free to go and watch it. And um, in brief, just use this time to reunite, help someone. Work on your contacts, work on your resumes, you know, by the time this whole craziness is over, you're where you want to be. So uh, because of that, stay home and avoid contacts. That's an opening for my uh, other points too. Why we say um, avoid contacts? Oh, <clears throat> because when you go, you have to keep, if you go out, you have to keep a distance. Six feet, uh, they said, you know, closer to two meters because what happens is if you are closer to someone if you're going outside without staying home if you if you're meeting someone at the grocery store or the fuel station or somewhere if the other person is less than that distance then there is a possibility that um, uh, some droplets or um, something and if, if the other person coughs sneezes or talks like I said droplets from their mouth or nose can launch into the air and you can catch it so if you really have to go outside, go with the mask, right? And uh, you, you, Venkat will be talking about that uh, pretty soon. But because of that, um, you know, keep the distance and uh, avoid going outside uh, unless it's absolutely necessary. Um, for an example, you know, this is a very modern world. You know, technology is at your fingertips. If you really have to do something, try to um, order online. There is a risk um, involved with that too, but we'll, I'll be talking about that in, in, in very uh, in, in a few seconds. But try to stay home and order online and avoid contacts. Um, and uh, again, I was going to say uh, there's a risk on uh, ordering things too because you order things from various sources. It can be Amazon, it can be Costco. You know, you need grocery. You have to eat, right? Um, and food line or Harris or whatever but um, I don't know if you guys have seen it um, we can actually share but um, there are certain certain types of surfaces it can be plastic it can be uh, steel copper virus can still live on those surfaces and plastic can be for I'm not exactly uh, remembering the exact um, three days race. yeah it's, it's, sorry, it's what? Plastic is the one that stays longer. Three right, days. right, long, exactly. And if you order something from, let's say, for an example, Amazon, try to uh, keep it outside for that recommended period of time so it kills the virus. So maybe not many people uh, know about it, but if, you, if you're not aware of it, please read um, and uh, understand the different... Uh, time frame. That, also, the uh, virus yeah. actually needs a host to survive. Like, for example, like if the virus doesn't find a host within that time frame, right. it will disintegrate. Like it, it has Disinte a protein and everything. It disintegrates, right? It basically, just like you watch movies, uh, that things will disintegrate. Like Terminator, right? It's not going right. to come back again. <laughs> <laughs> but right, it right. No, exactly. Exactly, and uh, so be and and also when you're when you're uh, 
when you're uh, discarding the the container, make sure you wear gloves uh, and uh, leave it outside for that you know recommended period. And even after that, when you're disposing it, use the use the recommended gear uh, as I mean. Try to don't go don't go insane. You know, people have to be, you know. Although these are recommended things, try to stay sane, but at the same time, do your best. Uh, use gloves when you're disposing it, and um, you know, avoid touching those surfaces because you never know. You don't want to take a risk because we are talking about life and death here. And uh, you know, where most of us live in neighborhoods, uh, in apartments, apartment can be living in an apartment can be very, very stressful these days. You know, one bedroom, two bedroom with children, because you cannot go out. And you know, even if you go downstairs, even near the pool, you know, people will be people might be there, and you have to maintain the distance. And that itself is a stress. So because of that, you know, just try to get yourself involved with something that you always wanted to do at home you know like i said reuniting talking you know trying to uh, listen to some uh, meditation something to get yourself involved with it because you need to avoid contact so that's the main thing here and uh, you know again it's kind it can be stressful for children too unless you have a big backyard try to avoid uh, playing with your neighbors uh, you know neighboring kids and and all that because kids don't know they don't understand to keep the distance right and every time they get closer to their friends you cannot just take them away from them you know there's a whole different story starts after that so because of that it's always better i know we know that it's hard but no option this is you know we have to pull this thing together and it's a collective effort so it's hard but let's do it and um what else? Oh, also, if you um, if you're a big traveler and if you have meetings, uh, you don't have to be in the office these days, right? We are so modern. Like I said, technology is at your fingertips. Use things like Zoom, uh, Skype, WhatsApp, Viber, Google. You know, those are the things that you can use to have your meetings with your friends, with your bosses, your colleagues. And uh, so, for an example, you know, Venkat and I do it. Uh, uh, through Skype, and we've been doing it for so long, you know, even way before the COVID frenzy started. So use that and avoid travel, stay home, stay safe. Uh, you got a few things to share too, right? Yeah, you, one right? thing I wanted to add in there, like um, uh, the um, when you go to get a gas, right, for your car. Right? Oh. Uh, so you probably need a yeah sanitizer. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so keep that in your car uh, and um, and it, make sure it's a sixty percent alcohol in there. It's more right. than sixty percent. So right. No, good necessary. point. Actually, I forgot to talk about it. Thank you so much for bringing it. I All keep right. this uh, inside my car always. And if you don't have the sanitizer, soaps, any <clears> kind of soaps are still uh, use. You can use it at home or with the water. And make right. sure you do it for 20 seconds, right? And then just do it like all the way, goes in and, and the tips and watch a video about how to wash your hands. Uh, just, you will get a, tons of uh, different tips. Make sure you wash it nicely and every surface of your hand uh, and try to use the gloves. That's, uh, I think you and, already uh, you mentioned that. And a good point, 20 seconds at least, right? Right, right. And uh, make sure uh, you wear the mask, you know, cover up. And these are some of the surgical masks, I think. Uh, it's not a N95 mask, um, but this will, uh, I think it's five micron is the virus size, right? So anything uh, five micron or uh, below that mask, it's still usable. And uh, think about like if, uh, if you have a 10 micron, if you have a, a mask that's very cheap, uh, right? And the virus still might go through. So make sure you get a, decent mask how do you get it when get if uh, how do we figure out how do we figure out if it's you said 95 or what, what was the number uh, like n95 is the one that has a filter on it okay uh, that you probably seen it all this police are wearing it uh, okay that's a very that's a lot of places out of stock right and it's yeah. expensive too uh and uh, these are some of the masks that cost like it maybe a dollar less than a dollar here in u.s um and uh, and another thing is you can make your own cloth oh, mask, right? right? That we talked about in a previous episode on you know people making money out of that. Yeah, uh, ten dollar five to ten dollar they're selling it. 
it takes only like maybe 10 cents to make it because you buy a lot tons of cloth uh you know cotton cloth right, right? and then you just use the elastic to you know stitch it and you can make like hundreds of them in a day uh using your you know sewing machine and actually it has become a great uh, income source for uh people in a lot of countries i know since i'm from originally from sri lanka people uh, made good living out of uh you know, they say, I mean, you know, in a, you know, you have to think about the positives, right? If someone can be self-employed during these difficult times and uh, make use of this opportunity to make something, you know, I right. think that's, there's no, there's nothing wrong with it because it's helping him, uh, his family and also the society. So that's great that you mentioned, you brought it up. Yeah. And you can and do sure, this on your Yeah. So make sure the mask is, uh, you know, it's like, it's not too flimsy or something. It's, it's something that is really strong one, probably it protects you. But it basically you're covering the your nose and mouth, right? Uh, that's right. what it covers. It doesn't cover your eyes. So what people and that's another one, right? It's right. So uh, eyes, yeah, that's a good. Yeah, it, so eyes, the virus still can still go to the eyes. So people will still get sick and they yeah. get uh, the contaminant, right? Yeah, and through that. So for that, you have to wear a goggle. So buy a like if you really want to protect yourself. Yeah, not, wearing mask only it's not going to help you. You have to and, wear the goggles too. And and that's a new thing to me, Venkat. And and really, like you said, if you really want to go out, uh, and if you really want to protect yourself and your family, you might look a little silly, silly, but who cares? Right. <laughs> right. Who cares? It's about life and death. So that's a new thing about the eyes, and it you can still get contaminated. Yeah, I've seen people in. Uh, I I was actually traveling, uh, like you guys know, last month uh, in the flight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few people like they covered everything. There's something right. called cover all. Uh, you know, you just cover the whole body with the uh, plastics. Like yeah, you, yeah. You can still see through. <laughs> right, right, right. So yeah, it, a, it was a good one. Uh, yeah, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, and uh, you are not going to meet that person again. So why not, you know, look a little sillier for the better, uh, you know, for for a better world, right? <laughs> right, right. And even like if you are an Instacart person, like if you are a delivering, like we talked about Instacart that yeah. the other day, right? you wear that and deliver your products people will be happy about it like yeah they will think oh this guy really protecting your food yeah. or your groceries absolutely uh, so they they will give you a good review so just just yeah. take that as a tip <laughs> that's right <laughs> right that's, yeah. uh, so another thing like make sure you wear goggles mask but like you said uh randy said don't go out and avoid going out and then um uh, gloves, right? So you you are using your hands. Your face is what you know touching, right? You covered everything on the face. Uh, some people might ask about ears, but it's very rarely it goes in to the ears and things go inside. Right. Uh, and other places, it easily goes inside, right? You're breathing in, it goes inside. Your mouth, you're eating, it goes inside. Your eyes, it just water, it goes inside. Right. But ears, you don't have to block your ears. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> to protect yourself, uh, yeah. and uh, p but for the hand you need a glove. So yeah. whenever you go out, rarely, when uh, to get something essentials, you yeah. make sure you have a bunch of gloves uh, in your pocket or something. Wear, uh, you know, right after you get down your car or wear right after your house uh, when you get out, and then just keep on wearing until you you know finish your work in the groceries and come back. Don't wear the same thing. Just take it same. off. Yeah. Uh, when you get into the car that yep. way you don't contaminate anything you touched already and then you're touching your steering wheels you know that's not uh, so make sure you do that uh, small thing matters in this case um, and then um, yeah yeah and uh, keep something like this too in your car yeah right exactly right after <laughs> yeah. you remove your gloves use the uh, hand sanitizer and keep it uh, keep it clean and uh, it's actually 60% uh, or less right that's 60% or more Oh, so sorry, sorry, sixty percent or more. Oh yeah, uh, it has to be alcohol. Like you know, if you don't have hand sanitizer, if you're ethanol, just use it. That's fine. Like it's alcohol, right? It dis yeah. it still disintegrates the virus. <laughs> so uh, ethanol, you can <laughs> just anything, use it. Anything to kill the virus at this point. Right. Yeah. It's that um, important. And uh, and then another thing is uh, you can actually do a preventative measures uh, like uh, boosting your immunity, right? On top of all, following all these things, uh, whatever we talked about already, 
you can do boosting your immunity by you know doubling okay. your multivitamins like right? oh. you can double take one in the morning early morning maybe in the night another one uh instead of one dose a day and then you can do uh you know vitamin d as it's been um it's like there are so many things on the vitamin d and c and e uh so i think if you take uh if you look for online c, vitamin c d e out of that d vitamin d is really really useful for the respiratory respiratory symptoms like it actually protects your respiratory tracts uh that's what they were saying and uh, so just uh consume it. it it's not going to hurt you uh just take vitamin c d and e on top of the multivitamins that you're taking right just just uh add it add it up in your uh food uh and another thing you can do is a ginger uh turmeric uh black pepper uh and all those things you can put it in um milk you know just heat it up right. and uh and uh start drinking every day once or twice a day uh that milk the warm milk containing the ginger juice uh turmeric and then the um you know the black pepper and also coriander yeah um, you could do a coriander seeds like if you don't have a coriander seeds you can go to indian store or some asian right. store you will get that um coriander seed it's a cilantro you know if you are in the us and cilantro seeds uh we wanted the seeds right not the plant and uh, just put it everything in boil it up nicely and put some honey in there mm-hmm. just drink up that every day it actually boosts your immunity right away and so it's it's really good And, and I know for a fact that coriander is even recommended for the babies too. And my my son <laughs> drinks oh, coriander. Yeah. Uh, to be, yeah, so that just a quick point. Oh, actually, really yeah, right. Like uh, people actually soak them overnight. Soak them in the yeah. water overnight. Uh, coriander seeds, and then drink it in the morning. That's another way to consume yeah. that coriander. And uh, overall, just try to eat healthy and avoid meats and all. Uh, probably try to eat a lot of vegetables and fruits. Mm. And Fruit. this is the time you wanted to kind of protect, um, you know, yourself to avoid contaminating other people in your family or neighbors or outside, and uh, right. whatever we talked about, just follow them, and I think um, the the virus will be uh, gone in no time. Yeah, yeah, great points, and uh, follow them, and uh, we all be fine. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you.